Okay, guys, um, I wanted to talk to you for just a minute. Uh, the last video I was telling you that it's moving along at a nice little pace, even though there's no such thing as time space. Anyway, mine is. Um, I'm moving towards the fifth dimension nicely. I'm very pleased with the way it's moving in my life. Of course, yours is individual to you. But I got to thinking, as I personally move through the timelines, time waves, or whatever you want to call them, um, over into the the fifth dimensional uh, vibrations that I identify as fifth dimension. As I move through there quickly, um, I have heard people talk in the background because you guys know that I don't watch the news and I'm not going to start, but inevitably since I am on the internet things do pop up like you know giant earthquake kills a billion people whatever you know those kinds of um, those kinds of events where there are a lot of people that die or um, you have a choice at this whenever you see those kind of things if you're going to watch or if you are exposed to them uh, you can panic and go, oh no, it's the end of the world. It will feed whatever belief system you are in. Okay? So if you are a Christian believing it's the end of days, then these kind of events are absolutely going to be collected by you. Those 2,000 bits that I've talked about before, they're going to be collected by you. They're going to feed your belief system, and you are going to believe that it's the end of the world, which eventually if you stay in those low vibrations and insist on being in 3d it's going to look very much like that and i have a video uh, about that that you can go to so it will look like the end of the world to you if you understand that as those of us who are moving into 5d there are people that are not going to want to do that there are going to be people who uh, don't want to be in 4D. There are going to be people in 4D, the closer we get to 5D, that don't want to go to 5D. So many things can happen. Um, it can look like a lot of deaths. It can look like um, um, eventually there'll be spaceships where people disappear. There'll be a lot of disappearances. Uh, nobody knows where these people go. Uh, all kinds of problems and horrific uh, scenarios will be played out depending upon how you look at these scenarios uh, will really decide whether or not your vibrations are going up or going down if you look at those vibrations if you look at those horrendous things and you continue to see death as a bad thing as a horrible thing then you're probably going to stay in lower 4d and you're quite possibly at the end of this life going to reincarnate on another planet into the third dimension. As you know, I don't have a problem with that. That may be perhaps your path. Uh, I doubt if that's your path if you're listening to me, but it's always possible that you could pop in and pop out. Okay? So, uh, that's what it's going to look like to a 3D person. A 4D person could see also all kinds of uh, problems, but they may see it as, well, an angel, a god, an ascended master, a, a, a Pleiadian, a galactic council, all kinds of a number of things can come in and save the day, or a demon, a Satan, a reptilian, a draconian, a gray, a may come down on a spaceship and steal people away okay again still fear still worry still concerned about death about death if you've been listening to me for any length of time i hope even though i know it's a it's a big ask because you have been pretty much brainwashed to really 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 be afraid of death but i hope in the conversations that I've had with you that that has been significantly uh, changed, reduced you know, massively because I really want you guys to not be afraid of death 
that you be very, very, very comfortable with whether or not it's a plant, an animal, an insect, or human, a child or an elderly person, an, an alien or a massive death or one death, that death is really no big deal. It really is not. It's simply a transition. And the person who died, the people who died, the entity, beings that have died, they agree to that death. Uh, that time space is truly an illusion. These agreements were already made in the now. All of this is, is played out. And death is what they wanted to do. And there we go again. Did you see that again? There we went with another globe. A big globe. Hi! <laughs> it's the same being. <laughs> say hi to everybody. Say hi. Come back down. Say hi to everybody. Pretty cool. Nice. Anyway, uh, back to the case in point. Death is, is really no big deal. You guys, if you haven't done that yet, I really encourage you to do whatever is needed to get over that fear of death. Uh, I've been dead. I assure you it was fantastic. Uh, I know the beings that are dying. I saw them die. Uh, they are not concerned about it. Uh, n n no matter what 2,000 bits you accumulate on the scenario at the time. There we go. And <laughs> <laughs> kind of stealing the show here. <laughs> All right, come on back. Let's share. I'll scoot over and you come right here and just stay here and share your energy with everyone. <laughs> come on back in. <laughs> uh, cool, huh? All right, anyway, back to the point at hand. Really, I want you all to, uh, uh, if, if you haven't approached that with yourself, I want you to begin immediately to really uh, do whatever you can to get very, very comfortable with death because uh, really death is, is not a bad thing in many, many ways. Like I've told you before, any being has agreed to it, no matter what it is, it's agreed to the scenario that it's been put in. It only feels pain if it wants to experience the pain otherwise it doesn't there are many ways that that's handled uh, it doesn't have to experience pain if they don't want to so uh, I assure you that death is no big deal so I want you to know and be very comfortable with that if you're moving quickly like I am uh, you you might see a lot of uh, really high body count a death and that means plant animals uh, humans as well. It can be insects, birds, whatever. Reptilian, reptiles, reptilians, draconians, all those guys. Okay, you might see high body counts, but that is why, the reason why is because you, you're flitting through a timeline where people just are, are not wanting to be at that vibration. Whether they're going up even faster or sideways or down or whatever, they just simply want to leave the game that you are in that particular um, timeline in that moment. Now you know there's infinite possibilities so those same people that are dead are also on infinite timelines where they're very much alive and then there's timelines where they died way earlier. So it's infinite infinite timelines. So um, if y'all haven't gotten over that fear of death or fear of someone you love dying. Uh, see, I'm just exactly the opposite. I think I've told you guys that. If my anybody that I love dies, I, I sigh, I take a deep sigh and uh, let it out slowly and I'm very relieved because I know where they went. And this is a tough gig and I'm trying not to worry. And so care, those I care about, you know, hard not to worry. So I'm trying to work on that, but if they were to die, I would go, oh, okay, cool, all right, they're gone. They went home. <laughs> they went on their next gig, so this is a tough one. Tough one that they're in. I would feel better if they died. 
And I know that's not politically correct, but it is the truth nonetheless. So I want you, and I certainly am not afraid to die at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm not afraid of the pain of death. I don't care how I died. It wouldn't matter. Uh, I'm not afraid of it at all. And I really, really, really want you guys to be not afraid of it either. Okay? Because that's a fear and it'll keep you out of 5D. So if you see a lot of death and destruction, I want you to just understand that for whatever reason on this timeline with that aspect, they did not want to be on that vibration. So they opted, uh, that aspect of them opted out to go to a, a different way for whatever reason. Very complex, big story that you will know eventually in 5D when you step outside of time space. Yay, all right? <laughs> Until then, you're just going to have to trust that... Uh, there it is. You can't see it as well, but I can feel it. Can you all feel it? <laughs> awesome. All right, so I just want you all to know that if you are around or in a place where you hear news and you hear about a lot of, uh, of deaths or natural... Um, events, uh, forest fires, earthquakes, um, you know, you name it, whatever, any kind of reason that people can die, especially a large group of people, uh, they just tend to get at the same place at the same time if they're ready to leave, and these events occur because it's also an agreement with people who want to live in fear so they can go, oh my gosh, look at that horrible thing or look at that horrible killer or whatever so they can stay in fear. Maybe they're going into the lower vibrations of 3D and that's a part of that uh, game or that experience. Okay? All right, so let's work at not being afraid of death. And if you guys do see death out there, all of a sudden massive amounts of it, uh, understand infinite timelines, uh, they're alive somewhere else, they wanted it that way, no pain unless they asked for it, and their game did not include being on this vibratory level at this particular time. Okay? Makes sense? Alrighty then. Huge hugs. Huge, huge hugs. Big, big love. Love you guys so, so much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Okay? Bye now.